On the top of the crumpety tree, the Quangle Wangle sat. But his face you could not see, on account of his beaver hat. For his hat was a hundred and two feet wide, with ribbons and bibbons on every side. And bells and buttons and loops and lace. So that nobody ever could see the face of the Quangle Wangle Queen. The Quangle Wangle said to himself on the crumpety tree, Jam and jelly and bread are the best of food for me. Bye bye. But the longer I live on this crumpety tree, the plainer than ever it seems to me that very few people come this way and that life on the whole is far from gay said the quangle wangle the <laughs> queen but there came to the crumpety tree mr and mrs canary and they said did ever you see any spot so charmingly airy Oh. 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 Oh, that's right. oh. oh! May we build a nest on your lovely hat? Mr. Quangle Wangle, grant us that. Oh, oh please, please let, let us come and build a nest of whatever material suits you best, Mr. Quangle, Quangle Wangle Quee. Hmm. 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 <laughs> and besides to the crumpety tree came the stork, the duck, and the owl. And the bumblebee. and the thimble fowl. Mr. Quangle Wangle Quee. 
the golden grouse came there. And the pobble who has no toes. <laughs> And the small Olympian bear. And the dong with a luminous nose. And the blue baboon who played the flute. <laughs> and the Orient car from the land of Toot. And the atomy squash and the biscuit bat. All came and built on the lovely hat of the Quangle Wangle Queen. <laughs> And the Quangle Wangle said to himself on the crumpety tree, When all these creatures move, what a wonderful noise they'll be. By the light of the mulberry moon, they danced to the flute of the blue baboon on the broad green leaves of the crumpety tree, and all were as happy as happy could be <laughs> with the quangle wangle queen. Thank mm -hmm. you.